Hello everyone. Our lectures, uh, I must uh, explain for you uh, theoretical background about cough and uh, pneumonia. Cough is one of the most common important symptoms for which patients seeking medical attention. Uh, cough is defined as defen defensive reflex that enhances the clearance of secretion and particle from the airway. So. This is mechanism for protect the lower airway from aspiration of foreign material. We classified cough according to the duration uh, in three types. Acute cough, this is less than three weeks. Subacute cough from three weeks to eight weeks and chronic cough more than eight weeks. Etiology, important here. Uh, you must know about the causes of the acute cough um, may be involved uh, upper respiratory tract infection uh, such as cold, acute bacterial sinusitis, pneumonia, pulmonary embolism, and congestive heart failure. Subacute, post infection or post nasal drip or uh, TB or atypical um, uh, pneumonia in the form of mycoplasma or chlamydia infection. Chronic cough, this involves uh, asthma, COPD, TB, bronchogenic carcinoma, uh, esophageal disease such as GERD, uh, post nasal drip, drugs like uh, ACE inhibitor, in the form that uh, patient with who have hypertension and take ACE inhibitor such as captopril, and uh, social like smoking. So, how we approach for the patient with a chronic cough? This is after take history and uh, examination, do x-ray. And important from history, exclude smoking and the drug history. If the cause of the drug is uh, obvious from history, smoking or ACE inhibitor, we must discontinue, uh, advise the patient to discontinue. Or if we Understand from the history and uh, clinical examination and chest x-ray that the cause of the cough is suggestive, such as uh, uh, asthma, COPD, or bronchogenic carcinoma, or TB, or uh, GI problems, uh, gastroesophageal reflex disease, or post-nasal drip. Here, we investigate accordingly and treat it. Uh, <coughs> If the cause of upper airway, uh, if the cause of the chronic cough was upper airway cough syndrome, we start empirical treatment. If the cause asthma, we investigate for the patient with the spirometry and reversibility test. If the cause uh, understand GERD, we start empirical treatment by give uh, proton pump inhibitor, uh, and so on. So, from the onset, uh, uh, we uh, determine the acute or subacute or chronic cough if the, uh, from duration. Uh, we ask the patient uh, who have cough about onset. Then, aggravating and uh, relieving factor. Example, cough due to GERD affected by postural change, by post-meal. I feel cough. Or when I sleep, I feel cough. Or um, if the cause of the cough was cold or uh, uh, induced or relieving by meter uh, dose inhaler, so this is maybe asthma or COVID. Sibutum color also give a clue for the cause of the cough. Example, rusty color sibutum in pneumonia, a mu a yellow green in bacterial infection. Uh, yes. Character of the sebutum, mucoid or mucobulent, suggested, uh, this suggestive cigarette smoking or uh, purulent commonly uh, in bronchitis. Sebutum amounts uh, more than one cup. This is a significant uh, productive cuff. This is suggested for chronic uh, bronchitis in the form, uh, in the case of uh, COPD. If the cough associated with fever, this is mean uh, underlying uh, infection. If associated with shortness of breath, this is more 
suggest for respiratory distress or uh, pulmonary congestion due to heart failure. If associated, this cough associated with noisy breathing, I mean wheeze, suggestive, this suggestive asthma or COPD. If the cough associated with the loss of appetite and loss of uh, weight or hemoptysis, this give a clue for uh, chronic in infection, uh, example TB or malignancy. Uh, if the patient have allergy or nasal obstruction, this suggestive of uh, rhinosinusitis. If dyspepsia, if the patient have dyspepsia, heartburn or water brush, this suggestive jarred. Uh, from history, he have medication. We ask this suggestive cough in, uh, induced by S inhibitor. Occupation also important. Uh, uh, patient may be exposed or uh, exposed for asbestos or chemical or cigarette smoke. Family histories give a clue for asthma, TB, lung cancer. Social history also uh, suggestive for cause of the cough. From a clinical examination, general conditions such as consciousness level, use of accessory muscles, cyanosis, grunting, nasal flaring, clubbing, nicotine stay, Vital sign also important, fever, if you have fever, this is for infection, tachycardia, tachypnea, this respiratory distress. Uh, pulses paradoxus, if the patient have pulses paradoxus, suggestive severe asthma. Uh, examination of nasal polyp, if they have nasal polyp, this is uh, the underlying cause of the cough, was uh, suggestive for post-nasal drip. Chest examination, um, if he have hyperinflated chest, uh, subcostal recession, this uh, due to trapping of the air in uh, in COBD. Yes, cardiovascular examination. Uh, if he have, if the patient have uh, have displaced apex beat, raised JVB, loud uh, second heart sound, right ventricular heave. This is a complication of COBD, corbulmonal. If he have eczema, this is a sign of atopic disease associated with asthma. Lymphadenopathy, this suggestive infection or malignancy. Investigation. What we will do for the patient with cough, especially chronic cough. We do spirometry with reversibility test for detect uh, diurnal variation in the beef expiratory flow, this diagnostic for asthma. Or if the spirometry negative, we do bronco uh, provocation test. If negative, this is rule, exclude asthma. Um, plain uh, sinus radiograph to for the patient with post nasal drip, sputum eosinophil for diagnosis for asthma or eosinophilic bronchitis. So, guideline for evaluation of chronic cough. First, we determine the cause of the cough by observing with a specific therapy and then start specific therapy. If the evaluation suggests more than one possible cause, we initiated treatment in the same sequence that the abnormalities were discovered. Now, important, uh, we uh, will uh, uh, explain, I will explain pneumonia. Pneumonia is uh, socially, uh, it's the sixth leading cause of death with average mortality about 14%. Community acquired pneumonia affected 4 million patients and result in 10 million physician visit and 1 million hospitalization in one year. Yes, 80% defensive mechanism, 80% of the cilia that, uh, uh, of the cells that uh, lining the uh, central uh, airway are ciliated pseudostratified uh, columnar epithelium. These cilia have a protective mechanism to protect the lower tract and keep sterile. Pathophysiology of pneumonia. How, uh, yes, how we, uh, the microorganism in, in, introduced for the lower respiratory tract and patient got pneumonia. Either, and this is microbial pathogen, either into the lung by aspiration from, uh, aspiration of um, microorganism from the oropharynx, especially for patient with the hospitalized patients who have uh, stroke or disturbed level of consciousness in the form of epilepsy or uh, 
uh, abnormal in the swallowing uh, mechanism, uh, dysphasia, yes. Here the microorganism uh, mixed and include gram positive, gram negative, and an aerob. Or inhalation, second way, inhalation of the infectious aerosol in the form, uh, example, influenza and TB, or hematogenous, uh, example for this microorganism, staph aureus, gram positive, from, yes, from uh, central line or from the skin, or direct inoculation uh, during uh, endotracheal tube. So, what is the pneumonia? Pneumonia is an infection of the lower respiratory tract. Here, this is MCQ, uh, single choice. Which one of the following is not symptoms of pneumonia? Here we explain symptoms of pneumonia. Cough, yes, common in the pneumonia. Shortness of breath, fever, this is trade important. Cough, shortness of breath, and fever. Yes, all occur. Abdominal pain, yes, may be occur in the patient with pneumonia, especially for basal pneumonia or atypical pneumonia that caused by Legionella. Chest tightness, yes. Confusion in the severe pneumonia. Hot arrhythmatous fairstoy, this is not uh, symptoms of pneumonia because hot arrhythmatous fairstoy, this is symptoms of gout. So, when we consider or high clinical suspicion of the patient with pneumonia, when we say uh, for this patient he have pneumonia clinically by history, if he have a trait, fever, shortness of breath, and cough, plus minus chest pain, pleuritic chest pain. So, pneumonia can be classified for typical pneumonia and atypical pneumonia. Typical caused by, uh, commonly by microorganism tryptococcal pneumonia. And uh, this patient presented with sudden onset of fever, cough, productive, and pleuritic chest pain. While atypical pneumonia, this caused by microorganism, example, mycoplasma, chlamydia, and legionella. And here the onset is gradual in onset, and cough was dry, with a prominence extra pulmonary symptoms. Example, patient with mycoplasma pneumonia, um, maybe have extra pulmonary manifestation in the form of hemolytic anemia or uh, a neurological manifestation. Patient with Legionella example, he have GI symptoms in the form of abdominal pain or diarrhea. Yes. So pneumonia classified for typical and atypical pneumonia. Okay. What are the signs of pneumonia? Sign of pneumonia by clinical examination or local examination of respiratory symptoms or, or, or the chest. Dull on percussion, yes. Tracheal division, this is here, no. Tracheal division, this is sign of lung fibrosis or pleural effusion. So tracheal division not occur in uh, pneumonia. Bronchial breathing sound, yes, this is common and typical for consolidation. Egophony, increased tactile firmitas, Yes, can occur. This egophony, we ask the patient to say ah. If we, uh, yes, if we say, if we listen ah as e, this is egophony. Okay, late in inspiratory crackle, this is also uh, typical for consolidation that uh, caused by pneumonia. How we diagnose pneumonia? Start by symbol which uh, include chest x-ray. This is x-ray, uh, confirm the presence of consolidation, location, and assess the extent of infection, how much consolidation, which lobe involve, uh, unilateral, bilateral, and in the form of viral pneumonia, we, we found uh, uh, bilateral infiltrate. We say this is bronchopneumonia, as now uh, occur in COVID-19. And this is x-ray, may be normal in the initial of diagnosis, especially if the patient have uh, dehydration because of fever or uh, loss of appetite. So on the first 24 hour, chest x-ray not exclude pneumonia. 
And also X-ray important to identify the complication of pneumonia, such as pleural effusion, lesami para pneumonic effusion uh, or abscess. Uh, by, by X-ray, we found uh, we found uh, cavitation, this suggestive abscess. Here, the X-ray show infiltrate. Yes infiltrate in the right middle and lower lobe here also infiltrate with the presence of the air bronchogram yes here this is uh, this is typical x-ray of the patient with bronchopneumonia here bilateral uh, infiltrate involved the basal and middle of both uh, side of the uh, ch chest, right and left side of the chest. Uh, this is X-ray come uh, typical for the patient now for with COVID who have bronchopneumonia and semi bronchopneumonia caused by viral. Yes, uh, important for uh, elf infiltrate in the patient with pneumonia. We see air bronchogram. يعني yani نشوف lung tissue اللي تختلف عن uh, pleural effusion اللي تكون solid homogeneous obesity هنا obesity with air bronchogram this is specific for patient with consolidation or patient with infiltrate for uh, uh, lung infection or bronchopneumonia yes here uh, look on the right uh, on the left on the left lower uh, zone uh, you will see infiltrate with air bronchogram with hesitance of the heart border. Also here, obvious. Yes, here this is we say consolidation. Elishufuha homogeneous obesity with air bronchogram of uh, right middle zone. Why right middle zone? Because here the heart border. Obliterate, يعني الرسم مالت ال الهارت on the le, uh, on the right side not clear. يعني معناته هذا lesion in front of the heart. هذا سمي silhouette sign. هذه consolidation نقول عليه. Consolidation mainly caused by pneumonia. This is consolidation usually caused by typical pneumonia. This is lateral view also. So. After X-ray, if the patient has sputum, we send this sputum for a gram stain and culture. A gram stain to identify this is microorganism, gram positive, gram negative, and culture also. This is test. It's uh, um, easy to uh, give you clue for underlying uh, microorganism to start empirical treatment. If the patient have no sputum, we do expectoration sputum. Uh, by uh, yes if the patient has a productive cup send this is sputum for gram stain and culture as I say this is uh, to uh, use in direction treatment if the patient failed to respond for empirical therapy also we send for the patient blood culture and Sensitivity, which was positive in 11 patient of the patient, 11 percent of the patient with community acquired pneumonia. Urine antigen important. Urine antigen we help. Uh, he uh, it help uh, us uh, for identify the antigen of the causative microorganism in pneumonia. Examples: streptococcal pneumonia, and uh, for Legionella pneumonia. So when I ask question. What are the benefits of the urine antigen in the patient with, uh, with pneumonia? We say urine antigen assay for Legionella, to, for detected uh, Legionella and streptococcal pneumonia. Other uh, routine laboratory tests, complete blood count. Uh, this complete uh, give us a clue for underlying uh, microorganism if there is leukocytosis. Uh, predominant uh, neutrophilic leukocytosis in bacterial infection, lympho, lymphopenia in viral infection, alicotrolite, alicotrolite important, example sodium, 
may be low sodium in the case of Legionella pneumonia. Uh, yes. And other uh, uh, other inflammatory process, C-reactive protein, ESR, also. And all patient, admitted patient, with pneumonia should measure oxygen saturation by oximeter. Yes. Uh, if the patient have atypical or have a dry cough, we do invasive testing, such as uh, needle aspirate or bronchoscope, but this is not routinely, usually used in the patient with uh, pneumonia, immune compromise. Yes. So, after diagnosis of pneumonia from history, clinical examination, and investigation that I mentioned, uh, then we must uh, assess the severity of the pneumonia. Sever uh, here, uh, look, and this is a diagram. This is difficult, really difficult uh, index for assess uh, of severity of pneumonia. We use a simple way, practical, yes, simple and practical. We use CARP. 65 score. CARB 65 score, this is easy and the practical uh, score uh, you can use in the emergency room to determine uh, the site where we where you will uh, treat the patient in hospital or uh, uh, at home uh, in hospital where in, in intensive care unit or in uh, uh, need uh, assistant ventilation, yes. Curve C, معناتها confusion, started with C, confusion. U, this is urea level, more than 7 millimole. هذه uh, uh, unit of uh, urea, millimole. حتى نحولها للمليغرام, نضرب 7 by 6, صير 42, اللي هي maximum uh, upper normal of uh, blood uh, urea by uh, unit, milligram per deciliter. إذن هاي السبعة نضربها في ستة حتى تحول ملغرام بير ديسيلتر Respiratory rate ال R more than 30 ال B هي blood pressure if systolic blood pressure less than 90 or diastolic less than 60 age more than 65 هذا السكور نجمع من عدة this is excellent indicator for mortality and severity نجمع من عدة ونقرر عليه إذا كان السكور إذا كان 1 this is treat the patient at the home. The can score two admitted for the hospital, three and more يحتاج intensive care unit. Okay. When you decide for uh, admission of the patient for intensive care unit, إذا كان عده أكو minor criteria وأكو major criteria. Minor criteria uh, include respiratory rate more than 30, partial pressure نسوي له يعني إذا نسوي له blood gas analysis less than 250. إذا كان patient multi lobar pneumonia إذا كان shock systole or diastole uh, systole less than 90 diastole less than uh, 60 millimeter mercury major criteria uh, need for mechanical ventilation uh, إذا كان more than 50% uh, of the chest involved إذا كان patient shock وإذا كان عدى renal impairment or renal failure How we treated the patient with pneumonia we classified four groups. Group one, اللي هو include outpatient, يعني الكيرب 65 score مالتا one. فهذا نعالجه بالبيت. شنو نعطي treatment? إذا كان group one, اللي هو outpatient, with no cardiopulmonary disease, يعني ما عدى respiratory problem, uh, previous respiratory problem, problem uh, such as asthma, COPD, or bronchitis, or all TB, ولا عدى heart problem, يعني heart failure or ischemic heart disease. هنا نبدي suggestive organism, طبعا تشمل streptococcal, اللي هي most common microorganism that cause pneumonia, هي streptococcal pneumonia. Mycoplasma, chlamydia, فنطي treatment, هو advanced generation macrolid, اللي هو azithromycin or clarithromycin, أو doxycycli. فإذا for group 1 outpatient with no cardiopulmonary disease, we start macrolid, or doxycycline. ما محتاج من عندكم الدوز وش قد. Group 2 also outpatient يعني كيرب 65 score 1 بس عندهم cardiopulmonary disease. 
هنا التريتمنت تشمل بيتا لاكتام بيتا لاكتام جروب اللي هي اور تشمل اور سيفوروكسيم او هاي دوز اموكسيكلاب بلس ماكروليت او نطي راسا انتي نيموكوكال فلوروكوينيلون الانتي نيموكوكال فلوروكوينيلون تشمل ثلاثه ثلاث انواع اللي هي ليفوفلوكساسين او موكسيفلوكساسين او جاتيفلوكساسين الافيلبل هي حاليا عندنا احنا In our country, levofloxacin and moxifloxacin. We call it antinemococcal fluoroquinolone. It works on typical and atypical microorganisms. Group three, this is inpatient, which is two, CURB 65 score two and more. Here we start intravenous beta lactam, cefotaxime, cefetriaxone, or salbutam. بلس انترافينس اور اورال ماكروليت اور دوكسيسايكلين او نختصرها بالانتي نيموكوكال فلوروكوينيلون اي في اور اورال ذيس از سمبل واي سو ناو وي ديسكاس ذا كوزيتيف مايكرو اورجانيزم اللي هي كمان ستريبتوكوكا نيمونيا اللي هي اراوند 50% اوف كوميونيتي اكوار نيمونيا كوز باي ستريبتوكوكا نيمونيا هير ذا بيشنت بما انه هاي سوينا تيبيكال نيمونيا Presented with acute onset of cough, pleuritic chest pain, shortness of breath, and fever. Here, the patient, when we do investigation, complete blood count, he have leukocytosis, mainly neutrophilic leukocytosis, sputum color, rusty color sputum. So, me X-ray show lower consolidation, mortality thirty percent, especially if bacteremia. هنا هذا this is not important يعني patient have diagnosed with streptococcal pneumonia and have resistant because commonly use of antibiotic or yes clinical course now the clinical course for the patient with pneumonia نقول target time for appropriate initiation of antimicrobial antibiotic within four hours of admission. يعني كل ما كان early administration of antibiotic كل ما كان rapid recovery. شو نتوقع؟ الفيفر subside within two, four days. Not quickly. Leukocytosis يحتاج ل day four. Physical sign, this is maybe persist beyond six, seven days in 20, 40%. The x-ray, يعني need four week. To return for normal. So when we follow patient with the pneumonia, we follow him clinically by disappearance of the fever, cough, and uh, normalize of the complete blood count. But X-ray not help us because X-ray need long time, four week. Okay, patient. We admitted patient and we start with parenteral antibiotic. When we uh, switch for oral therapy. Uh, this depend on the clinical condition of the patient. If there is improvement in cough, dyspnea, and he became febrile and white BC decrease, and he have functional GIT, يعني ما عنده نوزية ما عنده vomiting, then we will shift for oral uh, antibiotic. How we would prevent uh, pneumonia? Yes, here uh, uh, we have two vaccine, which is pneumococcal vaccine and influenza vaccine. Pneumococcal vaccine uh, indicated for the patient more than 65 years if he have a chronically ill, يعني he have congestive heart failure, COPD, diabetes, uh, cirrhosis, acyblinism. Uh, <coughs> here we start with pneumococcal vaccine every four, every five years. An influenza vaccine. Also, age more than 65, he uh, have uh, chronic pulmonary or uh, cardiovascular disease, and with recurrent influenza, uh, we started uh, this is vaccine every year. This is x-ray, as I mentioned, show consolidation of the right uh, lower zone, and this consolidation obliterate the right heart border so this is mean this lesion anterior to the heart in semi positive silhouette sign so 
this is right middle lobe consolidation not lower because this is anterior for the heart anatomically uh, middle lobe anterior to the heart L uh, lower lobe this is posterior to the heart so when the lesion obliterate heart uh, shadow سمي positive silhouette sign يعني معناتها anterior to the heart ياهو anterior anatomically هو middle lobe so this is right middle lobe consolidation caused by pneumonia yes and 